Hello viewers, myself Dinesh Kumar Vyas. In earlier parts of trigonometry, I discussed about the trigonometric ratios, trigonometric ratios and how they can be summarized. Now, we shall discuss more problems of NCRT book of exercise 8.1. Now we come to question number 5. Given sec theta equals to 13 upon 12. It means sec theta equals to 13 upon 12. This is ratio. Therefore, we can write 13k upon 12k. Calculate all other trigonometric ratios. We have to find all other trigonometric ratios. Clear? So what is a sec? Sec is a reciprocal of cos. Clear? Or cos is what adjacent upon hypotenuse. Therefore, this is what hypotenuse upon adjacent side. Clear? Hypotenuse upon adjacent. If this is theta, then this is opposite side and this is adjacent side. Now, I consider a triangle A, B and C. Clear? A, B and C. And let this angle is 90 degree and now this is theta. Clear? Now, what is this? Sec theta. Hypotenuse is what? 13k. Hypotenuse is which side? Opposite to right angle. Clear? So, therefore, this side is 13k opposite to right angle clear now what is adjacent side adjacent to theta is this size so therefore this is 12k now a b is not given we have to find therefore by well known pythagoras theorem a b square plus b c square equals to what a c square clear so a b square substitute the value b c is given b c is given what 12 k square a c square is what given 13 k square now if we solve a b whole square equals to 13 k square minus 12 k square clear now do not multiply 13 to into 13 use the well-known algebraic identity a square minus b square this is a and this is b so a square minus b square equals to a plus b and a minus b therefore 13k plus 12k and 13k minus 12k now this becomes 25k and this becomes only k a b whole square therefore a b equals to 5k this is equals to 5k whole square so therefore a b is what 5k now a b is what 5k what is our target Calculate all other trigonometric ratios. The first trigonometric ratio is what? Sine so SOH. Clear? So sine of theta S is small. Sine of theta is equals to opposite upon hypotenuse. Clear? The opposite was 5k and hypotenuse is what? 13k. Therefore, 5k upon 13k K and k will be cancelled out therefore 5 upon 13 is sin theta now what cos theta if we know cos theta is reciprocal of sec theta clear then we can write directly 1 upon 13 k upon 12 k therefore 12 upon 13 or we can calculate by given formula now what about tangent theta tan theta is what toy toy clear so kato so, tan theta is opposite upon adjacent. Clear? Opposite upon adjacent. If I say opposite what? In triangle AB, adjacent is what? BC. Therefore, 5K upon 12K, that is 5.12. Now, cot theta, 
again cot is reciprocal of 10 therefore 12 upon 5 sec theta is either reciprocal of cos or hypotenuse upon adjacent but given so we have no need to calculate cosec theta or cosecant theta is what hypotenuse upon opposite side hypotenuse is what 13 k and opposite side is what k and k cancel therefore 13 upon 5 or directly we can say reciprocal of sine so therefore sine is 5 upon 30 therefore 13 upon 5 i hope it will be clear to you now move to next question question number six if a and b are acute angles such that given cos a equals to cos b then show that angle a equals to b clear given cos of a cosine of a equals to cosine of b what we have to show to show to show angle a equals to angle b where and a and b are acute angles clear where a and b are acute angles clear given now in this question a and b are acute angle given therefore i have to take a and b are here we cannot take b is here because this is 90 degree not acute angle so these are a and b are acute angles given a and b we have to prove these two angles are equal angle a equals to b now proof clear so given what cosine of a equals to cosine of b clear cosine of a equals to cosine of b what is a cos cos is adjacent upon hypotenuse so now cos of a clear cos of a so this is a this is angle a this is side opposite to right angle is hypotense therefore this is hypotense clear or uh, now angle a the side adjacent to angle a is what this side the so cosine of a equals to what ac upon ab clear cosine of a now cosine of b what is this is angle b hypotenuse remains same whatever with angle now adjacent side to angle b this one the adjacent angle of angle is given so therefore cosine of b is what bc upon ab denominator will be same so cancel out one one now what results we get ac equals to bc clear ac equals to bc now see in triangle what is ac this ac equals to bc so if two sides of a triangle are equal then we know that if sides are equal then angle opposite to equal side are also equal this is isosceles triangle so therefore angle a equals to angle b now our result is clear so therefore hence proved or you can write q e d quad irate demonstrandum anyone which you like must okay i hope this will be clear to you now move to next question question number seven if cot theta is seven upon eight given clear yes, easiest problem similar to previous problems cot of theta is equals to seven k upon eight k now evaluate this so clear if i consider this example now by this triangle a b and c this is what theta clear now what is cot theta cot theta is opposite to 10 10 is t o a clear so katoa so opposite to this it means what is this this is adjacent upon opposite so adjacent is what b c and opposite what a b clear so this is adjacent adjacent is what adjacent is 7k opposite was 8k clear this is 7k and this is 8k now 
we have to find sin theta clear for the first part we need sin theta and cos theta so first of all 7 can 8 can is given we have to find ac square ac square by pythagoras theorem equals to ab square plus bc square by pythagoras theorem clear now substitute the values ac square ab square ab is what 8k square plus bc is what 7k square so this gives ac square 64k square plus 49k square clear this gives ac square is equals to 113k square clear this gives ac equals to 113 in square root k clear this is what ac this is root 113 k k is taken because ratio if i take only 7 upon that then question will be also right now what is the sine theta clear sine theta sine theta so soh opposite and hypotenuse clear so in this figure is clear what is opposite opposite is 8k and hypotenuse is this so therefore 8k upon root 113k can cancel out therefore 8 upon 113 what is similar to this cos ka clear ch cos is equal adjacent upon hypotenuse the adjacent is what adjacent is 7k upon root 113k so that is 7 upon 113 these two are important factor now we move to first part what is first part 1 plus sin theta 1 minus sin theta if i can use identity then i can solve directly we will solve in the by directly in the last exercise of this chapter now 1 plus sin theta sin theta is what 8 upon root 113 clear in numerator into 1 minus sin theta 8 upon 113 upon 1 plus cos theta cos is what 7 upon 113 in root clear and 1 minus 7 upon 113 now this is again on using the identity a plus b into a minus b where a is 1 and b is this so therefore we shall get 1 minus 8 upon root 113 whole square also we can write 1 square it will not affect so i do not write it 1 square minus 7 upon root 113 whole square so this this will gives to 1 minus 8 upon 8 into 8 that is 64 upon 113 upon 1 minus 49 upon 113 this is what 64 now if you take lcm 113 minus 64 upon 113 113 minus 49 upon 113 113 and 13 cancel so therefore 49 upon 64 yeah now this is 49 no need to calculate 133 is 113 is what sum of 64 and 49 so therefore i get i subtract 64 then i get 49 and I will subtract 49 then I will get 64 this is our answer of question first part now we move to second part okay in second part is easiest part of this question what is this if cot theta is given then what we have to find we have to find cot square theta cot square is theta is nothing this is cot theta whole square or cot theta into cot theta clear right keep in mind cot theta into cot theta is equals to cot square theta do not write cot 
square theta square this is angle angle cannot be square anytime therefore this is wrong clear the so cot theta into cot theta is what cot square theta so therefore value of cot theta is given 7 upon 8 clear so this is 49 upon 64 this is similar to previous question previous question is also this is also the description of this now we move to next question if given 3 cot a equals to 4 given 3 cot a equals to 4 it means what cot of a equals to 4 upon 3 now i can write 4k upon 3k again cot is what cot is opposite to 10 or 10 is what to a c o t o a clear so this is what so now this is right angle 90 degree if i mention the triangle is again a b c we can write a b c for generally simplicity you can write any numbers a b c so cot a is 4k 4k is what adjacent upon opposite clear so if this is angle a clear i have taken a here so opposite or adjacent this is adjacent adjacent is what 4k opposite is what 3k now what about ac square just i calculate earlier by pythagoras theorem 3k square 4k square 3k square is 9k square 9k square plus 16k square equals to 25k square that is 5k clear s is 5k now or you know 3 4 5 are pythagorean triplet so therefore directly you can write now check whether this equals to this or not so first of all we have to find left hand side left hand side is what 1 minus 10 square 10 square is nothing product of 10a into 10a upon 1 plus 10 square a so this gives me 1 minus 10a i have to calculate 10 of a 10 is what nothing reciprocal to cot directly i can write 3 upon 4 or if i use then that is opposite and adjacent this side is what adjacent clear or this side is what this side is what opposite clear or this is hypotenuse opposite to right angle i already mentioned here and now 10 is 3 by 4 and similarly sin a sin a is what so as was opposite upon hypotenuse the opposite is 3k hypotenuse is what 5k k and k cancel out therefore 3 upon 5 similarly cosine of a is equals to adjacent upon hypotenuse 4k upon 5k that is 4 upon 5 now 1 minus 10 square a if substitute value then is what 3 by 4 whole square upon 1 plus 3 by 4 whole square so that is 1 minus 9 upon 16 1 plus 9 upon if i take lcm and lcm lcm cancel out 16 minus 9 upon 16 plus 9 so therefore 7 upon 25 now i move to right hand side right hand side is what cos square a minus sin square a so cos square a minus sin square a cos square a is what cosine is this what the so 4 upon 5 whole square minus 3 upon 5 whole square clear 4 upon 5 so that is 16 upon 25 minus 9 upon 25 that is 7 upon i hope this is lhs 7 upon 25 and both rhs both are equal so therefore we can say lhs equals to rhs so it is not is wrong these are equal this is solution of required problem now remaining part i will discuss in the my next lecture if you enjoy then like share and subscribe share to your friends also thank you very much for watching this video